when we write a piecewise function, we need to figure out what the piece of the function will look like and then the x ranges. So children five and under are free. How would you mathematically say free? Zero. zero. So I'm gonna put zero and then I'm going to write four and then we have to write some sort of statement involving x where x is the age of the people. So children five and under. So that'd be x is less than or equal to five. Children who are five or who are younger than five. The next one is children over five and up to 12 years are $5. So that piece is five, they pay $5. Four, we're going from five to 12, X is somewhere in the middle. We have to do less than and then less than equal to. Do you see why it's less than than less than equal to? Five is included in this top one. So we can't include five in multiple places. So this one has to be five is less than X. X can't equal five in that second piece. So it's over five, not including five, and up to 12 years old. So five is not included, 12 is included. Children 12 to 18 years old are $12. And it's gonna follow that same pattern, 12 less than X, less than or equal to 18. And then $18 for people who are over 18. So people over greater than 18. You put this fancy little bracket thing on it and say f of x equals, and you've written a piecewise function. Um, this stuff could be closer to there if you want it to be. A gift shop sells pewter mugs for $35. They're currently running an engraving promotion. The first six letters are engraved for free. Each additional letter costs 20 cents per letter. So they are selling pewter mugs for $35. So the cost of the mug, I'm gonna say cost, so C of X equals, it's $35. Whether you get zero letters engraved or one or two or three or four or five, or six. So for X is less than or equal to six, the cost is $35. What is the cost if, um, if we have to add more than six letters? We've got $35 plus 0.2 for 20 cents times the number of letters. But here's the weird thing. It's the number of letters more than six. So you want to do X minus six. I'm gonna move this over here. And this is for X is greater than six. So if X is seven, seven minus six is one, that's one additional letter. If there are 10 letters, that's four letters beyond six, so 10 minus six is four, 20 cents times four plus the $35. I will probably not make you write that complex of a piecewise function on your own, I would just give that to you. Okay, part B is actually using that piecewise function. What is the price of a mug with the name Mary Ellen Gilmore engraved? Where the heck did that name come from, I wonder? So how many letters is that? Sixteen letters. So we would definitely use the thirty-five plus point two. What is sixteen minus ten? or sorry, 16 minus six is 10. So 35 plus 0.2 times 10, which is 
two gives us 37. It would cost $37 for that mug. Your assignment today has a couple of word problems. I think the only ones that it's asking you to write are step functions like the admission rates of the amusement park. The rest of them, it's just, it gives you kind of a real life piecewise function and you have to use it. And there's a couple graphs for you to practice on as well.